I'm Wimsier of Wimsier.com, and these are your tarot cards for the week of July 13th through the 19th of 2014. I'll be using my Wimsier Five Element Spread. And I asked it was, what are the cards for this week for the public? The first card, which is pretty much the answer to this entire week, the Lust card. The Lust card is truly an excellent card to be given for this whole week. What we see in this card is a beautiful, fit, naked woman holding with one hand the beast with many heads, holding with her other hand the Holy Grail. She is naked because she is confident. She is completely in command of her inner beast, and because of that, she holds the Holy Grail, whereby all of life is at her disposal. That was the spirit card, which represents the entire week. Now, for a breakdown, the fire card for this week. The Seven of Wands, also called Valor. Now, the fire card will represent your will. And also how to a it's also sort of a how to will for the spirit card. In this case, the seven of wands, which represents valor. Or think of it this way. You'll know what you're doing is right. Simply if it feels right. But we're talking about will. When you do what is right for you, then you will be doing what is right for the world. Concentrate on what is right for you, and you cannot go right wrong this week. The water card, which represents your emotions and creativity. The princess of cups. The princess of cups holds with her a heavy bowl with a turtle in it, which is also quite heavy. But she is under, or mostly under water, so these objects are not heavy. But the very water of her experience holds the weight of her wisdom, of her creativity, of her home. This is telling you that there is nothing in you, nothing creative in you that is too heavy. Get it out there this week. Be creative. Do what feels right to you. Paint something. Draw. Sing. Do whatever it is that makes you you. The air card represents communication and also the intellect. And this week, we have the hermit card. It's upside down, so this might be a little bit harder. The hermit card is all by himself. He's kind of traveling through these thick, heavy weeds, but he holds with him a lantern, so he can see where he's going. Also, he does have a dog with him that helps him, that kind of keeps him company. The dog is his mind. This week, get to know yourself. Maybe instead of going out with your friends, stay at home, or do something by yourself. Really get to know yourself. How often do you do that? It's very important to know just who you are versus who other people are. What parts of yourself are taken from other people? Maybe you have a facial expression that you got from one of your parents. Maybe you have a laugh that you got from a friend. Know what's you and know what's them, especially this week. It's all about living life to its fullest this week. And part of how we can do that is by knowing just who we are so we can live to that fullest potential. Finally, the Earth card represents your body, but also the outside world. And, to, and this week we have the Seven of Cups. This is kind of a reminder if you're going to be spending all week being creative, being yourself, 
don't think of this as an excuse to sit around your house all week and be lazy. If you're going to sit around the house, sit in a meditative position. In fact, do that. Meditate. Be creative. Draw, paint, sing, anything. Even if you're reducing by yourself, this is not saying to be lazy. Far from it. Exercise your mind. Exercise your emotions. And this is done by getting to know yourself. So basically the key here this week, getting back to this lust card here, is to have lust for life. I'm Wimser of Wimser.com. If you'd like another reading, come on over to Wimser.com. We have prices for pretty much anybody. Also, like me on Facebook. And if you have any questions, send me a message. Have a good week.